Oh, I'm Lord! <laughs> and I'm Dennis! <laughs> and I'm Paul! And today we're going to do a goalie oh. exercise, receiving on the body! Yay! 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 Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maupi, why aren't uh, Charlotte and uh, Pogio here? I don't know, but Charlotte put in Groningen instead of Amstelveen. Yeah. So she's not at the right hockey location at the moment. So she's in Groningen? Yeah, she's and in Groningen. And if you don't know Holland, Groningen is far away from here. Search it on Google Maps, Groningen. And we are now in Amsterdam, so I think see, the, see the difference. Well, Two that, hour drive, I think. That's Charlotte. Yeah. And now we have Pogio. You see uh, all these people over there? Right there. There's Pogio. And he's just beginning. A hockey, a hockey camp. camp. So and he's too lazy to come over. He is too lazy to come over. But you see it? It's right there. Pogio! Pogio! Well, let's start. Okay, um, so what we're gonna do today is uh, an exercise for receiving on the body. Uh, I already told a bit uh, in the indoor video uh, about the, the sweep with the stick. Um, I already told a bit for the tip-ins because then you can also use it. But now we're just gonna fully focus on receiving on the body and a complete technique about it. Um, so let's uh, let's gonna do something. Why do you have yellow balls in us? Is that better for both brains? I'll explain in my next vlog. Oh. So maybe when this is on, it's, you already know it. Oh, I'm very, very, very excited. Curious. No, curious. Curious. Why I have yellow balls? You are the weakest okay, link. Stick by. All right. And now you're thinking, you're <laughs> why should he do this? And of course, not in every occasion, it's the best option to take it on your body. So very fast shots, like pass, no, not shots, he threw it. He did it like this. You're never gonna do it unless you don't have the time to react and you just 
accidentally take it on your body, of course. But if you have the options to clear it with your hands and make sure it's a safe clear, so if all of you are there and the ball is somewhere over here, I will do this. Then it will be a penalty corner, of course. And that's one of the reasons why I should take it on my body, because then it lands over here and maybe I can play it away low and make it controlled or even do it like this. What I can also do when the ball is coming from you a bit over here and normally I would play it over there then I push my body like this so my right shoulder more to the front and let the ball bounce over there. So when it comes over here I can do it like there and then still play it to the left instead of to the right. Like that. So I can literally use every part of my body where the ball doesn't jump off very fast. So if it comes on my leggers, the ball will always go fast away. So I can take it on my pants, um, I take it on my chest, even my arms are protected. I can even do it with my helmet. Not the best option because it hurts a bit. Uh, but it doesn't really matter as long as it bounces to the front. What you also want to do is push your shoulders a bit to the front. So make sure the ball ends up over there. If you do it like this and be a bit scared, the ball will bounce up high. It takes longer to get it controlled. And also sometimes it can be dangerous. So push your shoulders to the front and don't bend your knees too much. It happened to me once. I did it as well this. And then the ball fell in over here. Then you always have a penalty corner against. So also watch your knees. Keep them a bit straight and then push it down and then you have to control. Clear? Perfect. Now we do a bit, a bit of rebound, so we get a bit of challenge. One person is going to play the ball. I should probably always do this in the six meter zone, so very close to the goal. Because uh, then there are also attackers very close. So what are you going to do? Three persons around me. One is playing the ball on my chest. Um, I'm going to try to play it uh, to the sides in two touches, body and then stick, glove, kicker, whatever. Was very, <laughs> very sharp. <laughs> and Paul wasn't. Nope. Still okay. Lucky you bring your shin guards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was. Okay. And I also had my back there. Okay, you won't do this a lot. Do this again. But it can happen. Of course, it happens more indoors because then all the balls played on goal are close to the goal. From here, when it's a shot from top of the D, two quarters of a circle. Probably will never do it, but in a rebound situation or ball from the sides, it can be handy to just play it on your body to have control and keep it with you. Sometimes it's better when you just do this with your hands. Yeah, it's safer and doesn't hurt that much, but you lose control over the rebound situation. So if you like this video, please like it and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. 
Leave a comment if you really liked it and what you thought about it. And maybe a next goalie exercise. Yeah. And please follow us as well on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. No. Oh. Snapchat. No, Snapchat. Snapchat. Thank you okay, for thank you for watching. Yay. YouTube.